Hello everyone, today I'll be clearing the Crimson Gear trial for the Xeno Gears event using only budget units and no limited items. The first unit I'll be bringing is Force Arcady with Lakshmi equipped for the stop protection. She is going to be our summoner. Uh, since she has innate paralyzed resist, I don't need any equipment on her. Our second unit is going to be Garnet. She's going to be the backup sum summoner. Uh, she also has innate paralyzed resist so I don't need any equipment on her as well the third unit is going to be a warrior of light he is going to be our cover tank since I've been told 100% dodge isn't budget so I'll be using only craftable materials and also uh, equipment from story mode only one trust mastery and also one trial armor our fourth unit is going to be Kagnazo he is going to be Provoking all of the magic attacks He is equipped with craftable materials and also with story mode gear as well And our final is going to be Meliado. She's going to be doing uh, multiple things uh, The first is she's going to be using her heaven's blessing on the warrior of light to give him some uh, defensive buffs and also uh, this defense and spirit break or when it's time to do damage and also her re-raise in case I will need to use that instead of the heaven to blessing. I've given her items from Fina's short story event and also this trick hat uh, which you can get from the King Mog right now. The jewel ring for the paralyze resist and also uh, craftable materials. Now for is going to be this CG set. He is going to be our soul damage dealer. Uh, built with Machine Killer uh, with Alexander and also Paralyzed Resist. Now in the first turn, Garnet is going to use uh, Shiva's Offensive Freeze. Popstar Kitty is going to use her uh, cooldown ability. It's going to fill the Asper Village. Where of Light is going to use his Cover. Uh, Kegnazo is going to use his Provoke. Monadil is going to use her Heaven's Blessing on War of Light. And Sid can try to and try to use Blade Dance to help fill up the Asper Gauge. Uh, next, uh, Pops Arcady and uh, Garnet is going to use their uh, uh, evo uh, evoke feel. Uh, Mendel is going to use uh, she's going to use her 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 um, breaks on boss where if light can evoke Golem and Sid can uh, use the play dance again. Now, uh, Popstar Kitty is going to use her Evoke and so is Garnet. Uh, Meadul is going to use her 
break while Sid will use his dispel lens and warrior, warrior of light is going to use his cover again Uh, next he's going to use an elixir on himself since there's I don't think there's any no items missions yeah there's no no items missions Sid can prepare to use his jump Popstar Kitty will use his uh, her stop protection in case so Nazo is going to use his provoke I'm going to use uh, Heaven's Blessing back on Warrior of Light and Garnet will use her prayers to the Eidolons Now Popstar K is going to use Funder, who is going to buff uh, Sid's attack and Sid is going to use his uh, True Spine Shatter 0 Mana Duel can go ahead and use her Defense Break Where of Light can defend And Garnet can use her Prairie for the other ones For whatever reason Sid will use his jump. Uh, hopefully, this will one shot the boss. It did not. Mm. Unfortunately, it didn't. Um, yeah, so. Miladol is going to use her uh, re-raise on Warrior of Light. Garnet will then use her attack break, and Kitty will use her cooldown again. And Warrior of Light, I think he needs to uh, reapply his cover. Kitty Bear is going to uh, evoke Fenrir again and Sid will use one of his uh, regular jumps I think I'm going to use Gale Grid uh, no, uh, Beast Pino I'm going to re uh, reapply the re-raise on Warrior of Light reapply his cover and the provoke I can just go ahead and defend. And this will finally end the boss.
and we got all the missions. Now, hopefully, you guys enjoy this budget guide. Um, now I've known uh, what budget is supposed to mean. So hopefully, you guys, uh, hopefully there won't be any more flaming comments on Reddit. And yeah, thanks for watching.